Right, we're still at Woodbury Common. Just walking, knock through the wooded bit. And then we're going to tin... Oh, tripping up. <laughs> going to tripping up, where's that? <laughs> yeah. We're going to Tin Tadjil. On the car park, you can stay on there. But we'll show you that when we get there. Look how lovely it is there. We had a good night. We're going to stay a second night, weren't we? Yeah. But, too busy. It is lovely here. This is the car park. I'll show you. But do you know what? I mean, people are probably funny about us overnight in here. We've just walked down that path down there, the main path. We went through the woods, we came back down the main track. The amount of dog poo. Absolutely loads. So the turn up give you dirty lugs for being in a motor home and then go and walk the dog. Don't see him come back with a poo bag. So that says it all, doesn't it? I mean, there is poo bins, alrighty, and everyone, because them bins were brimming this morning. The man's been and emptied them. But don't let it put you off. That man who just left, he picked his dog poo off. Chuck's just gone flying as he's come off. Chuck's gone flying. I know. As, of both of them? I yeah. know. Oh, no, no that one's not. That's any problem with the gravel. Yeah. Right, we're on another lovely single track road. So, let's see where this takes us. Hopefully nothing too dodgy. Right, let's film this road but speed it up a bit. I think that's a good idea. stupid prick. What a fucking arsehole. Yeah, what a knob. He had no idea how big we were. Prat. Right, we're in Tintage on air. I've got to stop saying right. I thought we were going on the King Arthur's car park, which is £4 for overnight. But Carl's picked the one before. Don't know what the name is, I'll find out when he comes back. But it is alright. Just show you. Yeah, it's a bit like being on a campsite, really, because they allow you to park here. Obviously, there's no facilities at all, not even a bin. But look, they've all got their awnings out. Pretty good. Nookie's loving it because it's on grass. You can run around like a loony, which he's already done. So, what's the name of the car park? Pie and Display Car Park. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, no, give me the ticket. Mm. Cut it and I'll find out. No, don't tell you. No, no. It's the one next, but anyway, next to King's Arthur's. Yeah, it's the one before King Arthur's car park with King Arthur's on your right. Yeah, as you can see, 
eight pound and that's for 24 hours yeah apparently yes and that's apparently the same as king arthur's and but this is better because grass yeah so there you go if you find out the name i'll tell you yeah right we don't know what the name is so we're having a cup of tea having a cup of tea having something to eat 10 to 2 and then we'll go for a walk around tin tadjo what are you eating bit? dear i don't know apparently egg chips and beans i oh, know worst luck any while the sun's shining get the air fryer out right so after we've ate we'll have a walk around um tin tadjo and show you that when in cornwall I'll have a cream tea gluten-free one for me Oh grey. Carl has rancid coffee. And for you people on a normal diet. A normal scone. Scones. Yeah, scones he's got to. Right, Carl said, is it cream first or is it jam? I say you do the jam and then you put the cream on top. Because how the hell are you meant to get the jam to stay on top of the cream? That's my opinion. Okay. But I'm probably wrong. Wait. And is it scone or is it scone? Look, he's being a scab again. He is, I know. Look at him. He's a naughty boy. <laughs> Self-contained campers are oh, welcome. Cool. Come here all the time. Yep. And that's where we parked up. Can even get the awning out. We did the awning. I've got theirs out. Yeah. Right, we're going out for a walk now. Round the coastal path. Yep. Carl's got his lovely man bag on him. Yeah. <laughs> Look, a big girly pants. It is. <laughs> so we're going to have a walk around the coast, probably walk up to the church as well and show you that. Don't know if we'll be able to do any talking while we're there, of course it might get blown away. Our voice, I mean. <laughs> I didn't make any sense, did it? Right, we've just discovered that it's the Mayfair car park so there you go and we're just going to walk up to the church signs are there right so we walked across the other car park from the signs and then you come out here and it's lovely and that's a chiff chaff
this is the church of Saint Materianas in Tintagel. The church was built in the 11th or 12th century and to me it looks like a Norman Saxon type church. Right, we're just going to take a walk on the coastal path now and show you Tintagel Castle and some of the gorgeous Cornish coast. Right, that's the bridge to get over to the little island where the castle is. Or remains of the castle. And then that's the steps to the castle, which you used to have to do before the bridge was made. Which I'll show you hang on. Not sure if I'm pointing properly, but there. Around there. up to there meant to be a real killer but don't know we've never been there because we've only been here since covid don't we so we've never yeah. like actually got to go over there And that is known as Merlin's Cave, which has now got pigeons inhabiting it. But pigeons were originally rock doves and they lived on the coast. So they are in the natural environment really. You can normally go in there when the tide's out because there's a beachy area. So you can go in and explore in there. But the tide's in sun's going down which is why it looks a bit dark as well really compared to when we normally come here but it's still lovely and there's the bridge again you walk over cross to the castle Right, we're just sitting on a bench having a break and then we're going back to the motor home. Look at that gorgeous view. Probably be a brilliant sunset and I ain't got enough battery to film it. 
We might be staying an extra night, haven't we, dear? Haven't we, dear? Yes, we have, Mrs. Mouse. No, oh, honestly, Carl, it's such an idiot. You made me laugh, man. <laughs> yeah, basically, oh, it's because we got the fluffy thing on the mic, and he said it looks like a mouse. <laughs> That's why he said that. Anyway, we're going back. Oh, yeah, thank God. Squeak, 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 squeak. Yeah, anyway. So, we're going back to the motor train. We'll probably stay another night. Stay tomorrow night, because it'll, it'll give us a break. Of course, you know, you might think we have a wonderful time and do nothing but filming and editing. It's time consuming, isn't it, dear? It is, Larry. Yeah. He don't do it, I do it all, but it is. I need to get some washing done. And we want to try the um, cook pot thing out again as well. So, we're going to leave it there. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.